filled with the building blocks of DNA and proteins. One are the DNA bases, A, T, C, G, they float around. And because they're, they're not just floating around, they're buzzing around. And so an enzyme sees probably 10,000 molecules in a second. Okay, I want an A. And right. it's, it's basing, it's looking at the DNA and it says, you need a C right now. And it reaches out, grabs a C, you need a G now, it grabs a G. That's literally what's happening? Yes. That is insane. I cannot believe I've never asked that question. That, you're freaking me out. All right, keep going. And how does it know whether it's a G or a C to put down? Because mm -hmm. it's copying the DNA. You've got one strand that has the A, C, T, G, and that, that protein will look for what matches the G. And a G always matches a C, and an A always matches a T. So there are pairs of DNA that make the rungs in that ladder of that spiral, that